What's up, everybody? I was just here admiring this pot. It's this beautiful pot that my daughter just got me for my birthday. It's a nice fish bowl, Japanese fish bowl with the Birkin. But anyway, so welcome to my channel. Glad you're tuned in. Today we are going to repot the diva of all plants. When I say diva, I'm talking about the Mary J. Blige of all plants, the Mariah Carey, the Adele, the Christina Aguilera. This is the diva of all plants. If you want to know what I'm talking about, stay watching. So, here we go. Today I'll be repotting the fiddle leaf fig. You know that ficus lorata that everybody be like, oh my god, I got brown leaves, my tree be dying. It ain't happening with this. All right, here goes this bad boy right here. Uh, oh. Ever since I got this, ever since I received this plant, I've never repotted it, even though it's doing well. I have it in a southeast window and actually six feet away from the window and it's doing pretty well but today look at that see that so we are going to repot this bad boy right here and i'm gonna show i'm gonna let you guys know about the the soil mixture and stuff like that that i'm using but for right now we're gonna break all this up I don't know what's going on in here. You know, when you buy a plant, especially from like Home Depot and stuff like that, you don't know what they be using. So you gotta really like, you know, get into it, do your own mixture, because you might be in for some, some uh, surprises. Might be some surprises in here waiting for you. Look at those roots. So I'm gonna see if I could break all this dirt away you know, I know, I know, I know. This plant was very happy because it has already gave me like three new foliage, three new leaves popped up within the last month or so. But um, I don't know. I just needed to get in here and see what I'm working with. Look at that! All the roots is bunched up. Got some worms in there. Got some some bugs in there. Yeah, it's that bad. So now that we've got all that cleared away, I'm just gonna rest. Press them right in here. Make sure not to hurt the leaves or anything. Put that down. And we are. All right, so here we have some organic Nature's Cure mix. We are gonna use, well, I have a 12, a 12 inch pot. So I'm going to need some soil. I have a terracotta 12 inch pot. Get some soil. I usually have a bigger cup than this, but I don't know why I feel like I'm rushing. Look at that, look at that. This is good soil too, look at that. Nice, nice and light, as you can see. That should be good. I'm hoping that's good enough. That's, no, that's good. Let's get two more cups in there. More is better than less in this situation. Because to go all over and mix this soil again, mm-mm. Too much work. All right, so here we go. Got the soil. Now we're gonna get some potting bark. Orchid potting bark, I got from Home Depot. I think this was about six bucks. Take a handful, I'm just gonna mix it. Mix it around. Alright, 
One thing with fiddle leaf figs, they always have like fungus gnats. Mosquito bites is good for the fungus gnats. All right, remember that. 12 inch pot, there's no measurements here. As you can see, just put a little bit in the soil. This is like one of the best things when it comes to plants. These best things when it comes to plants. These best things when it... All right, let me stop. My daughter's here like, what the hell is this guy doing? All right, this is some worm casting. Also got from Home Depot. All right. Very rich and healthy. You just need a little bit. Not much. Just the... Two handfuls, look at that. Look at that, look how beautiful that looks. Look how beautiful that looks. Ooh, yeah. All right, from worm casting. Of course, of course, of course, of course, I gotta get some perlite. So I got some organic perlite. Now, I'm gonna tell you something about this. My daughter and I, we went up to Lodgemont, to a nursery in Lodgemont, looking for perlite. Because we went to Home Depot, couldn't find perlite anywhere. Ended up paying $14 for this bag of perlite. 14 bucks. I'm all about saving money. Only to drive down to another deep Home Depot, and they had it for 6 bucks. You know I was pissed off, right? But hey, it is what it is. All right, so get your hands in there. You're gonna mix it up. Mix it up. Get your hands in there, mix it up. See how good that's coming? Look how beautiful that looks. Look how beautiful that looks. All right, I'm gonna tell you a secret. Well, it's not gonna be a secret now because if you're watching, you're gonna say, oh, that's interesting. So, here's my secret. This is crushed eggshells. All right, we feed in the soil to feed the roots for the plant. Crushed eggshell. It's about two eggshells. Nothing crazy. After you use your eggs, whether you scramble, boil, uh, sunny side up, save the shell, rinse it, let it dry, and then crush them up. So, this doesn't look like it's enough soil to fit into this terracotta pot, but that's a good thing because we still have soil here. More than that. Worm casting is just kind of hard to come by, so I'm definitely not going to add any more worm casting to it. Well, I guess if you add more soils, you need to add more worm casting. This is a great mix. All right. I want the plant to feel at home. Uh, lava rocks. Not necessary, but okay. Ooh, look at this. Look at that. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Move it all around, move it all around. Move it all around, move it around, around. Sound like a song. It was just coming to me, but I can't get it right now. All right. Bam! Terracotta pot, terracotta pot. Terracotta pot, terracotta pot. Okay, here we go. Put that down there. 
I got everything right behind me. Got a big hole at the bottom, needed to drain well. I'm putting this here. You see the hole? Mm -hmm. See that hole there? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so put this stone right there. And let's just see. Let's just see how this is going to look in here. How do I look, Shorty? What you think? Kind of big. The pot is kind of big? Nah, 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 nah. The pot's perfect, son. What are you talking about, son? All right. So, we got that. Okay. All right, so, this one goes up in there. Like I said, more soil is better than less. Because there's nothing worse when you got to mix this thing all over again. You're like, oh man, I don't have enough. And then you try to cheat your way out. You figure like, oh, let me just put a little pot of, pot of mix at the top. Ah, you got to make it even all around. Okay, so I got some soil in there. This should be good. Let me see if I got it my first time. If I got it my first time. Yeah, perfect, 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 perfect. All right. So, just gonna grab your hands, throw some soil in, move it around. Oh, I could tell. I could tell. What you said? You like this? Okay. Yeah. All right, here we go. This around. It's so funny because my grandmother and my aunt, they always was into plants. Me, I'm like, man, I don't care about no plants. I'm talking about, but this is back in the days, like 90s. And you know? Here and here I am, like you heard my daughter said, and here I am <sighs> messing around with plants and I can't pass a store that has plants without going into the store with my little road dog, Sammy. And we in the store, look at that, already set. Already set, perfect. That was pretty easy, all right? Now, everyone always wonder, especially if someone see my fiddle leaf, they always say, yo, Yo T, why is the leaf so shiny? What do you use on those leaves? <laughs> what, you be spraying neem oil? Nah, 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 I spray neem oil, you know. But that's if I have like bugs and mites and all type of stuff, which I do not have. Press down, make sure it's set. That I do not have. So, the secret to these beautiful, beautiful leaves and keeping them green and not looking dusty, coconut oil. Thank me later. You can get some nature's organic coconut oil from the supermarket or any any type of coconut oil and just take the time take some time and wipe you know wipe the leaves down because the plant loves it and it would look amazing you would think yo man I could put this plant in a catalog wow look at that the right amount First time, write them out. First time, write them out. Ah, first time, write them out. I am not trying to waste anything here. So, I'm just going to take all this up. Now, here's something, here's something you can do to keep the fungus gnats away, right? But you cannot get 
you cannot go overboard with it. You can layer the top of the soil with a little bit of sand. With a little bit of sand, all right? I'm gonna show you. So I got Masterly soil, co soil cover, and this is um, some sand. I'm just gonna put some in a cup. Put some in the cup. All right. And I'm gonna layer the top soil. See that? I don't know if you can see it. I'm just gonna layer the top soil with some sand. This is just a cup of sand, nothing crazy. Because the sand will definitely dry, dry up first. That's the top layer. Okay, I want it to be distributed evenly. Spread that around. Feel the leaf looking like it's in Miami Beach right now. That's enough. Okay, press it down. Okay. All right, now let me show you how this looks. See how that look? See how beautiful that look? Look at that. Simple. Simple, 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 simple. Now, I'm gonna show you what I was talking about with the coconut oil. Be right back. Here I have a regular wet bounty some coconut oil, nature's promised coconut oil. Just take a dab, that's all, rub it together. You can even rub it all over the paper towel. Rub it in there, all right? Now watch this. You're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about. And that is my secret. You see that? You see the difference? I'm gonna turn it around. I have to do every leaf, but I'm not gonna let you sit through <laughs> watching me doing every leaf. No way. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn this around this way. And hopefully you can see this leaf better. But like I said, I'm gonna wipe every single leaf here. All right. And then after I'm finished wiping every leaf, I'm gonna show you the results. So after about 10 minutes or so of wiping, not really 10 minutes, but here we are. Here we are. Look at that. You see how nice that looks? Look at that. Look at the green on that. All right. So that's how you repot a fiddle leaf fig. And it's simple, man. Everyone always say you can water once every 12 days or so. Just water when dry. That's all. It's not going to hurt the plant. They like to be well soaked and the soil needs to dry out before watering again. I preferably, or preferably, use distilled water. I'm gonna show you. Simple. Pull in spring water, distilled water. It's better than the tap water because sometimes the tap water is really hard, even though it has all the compound and elements and stuff like that that you need. But this right here has everything you need as well. So you can just water. Just water, 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 water. <clears throat> Shouldn't be doing this on the table. But as you can see, as you can see, it's 
looking really good because it already soaked through. So that's how you repot a fiddle leaf fig. Ugh. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you like my video, please subscribe. Um, I think next time I am going to repot this, this monster right here. This is gonna be the next thing I repot, this monster. I'm already propagating it too. So, all right, so like I said, thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoy. Until next time, stay safe. Peace.